I'm Quinn, I'm 10 years old, and I like to read. Quinn is awesome. She is such a little firecracker in this little body. We met Quinn in China February 13th, 2017, in adoption parlance that's known as Gotcha Day. When we were talking about adopting this tiny little baby, we found out, you know, some of the medical things she was facing and we said, can we do this? At birth, she had no way to go to the bathroom. My bladder wasn't working properly. It was tiny, so it basically was doing nothing. This doctor that we had talked to said, she's fought for her life. At day one and day two, she's fought for her life. It's a miracle that she's alive. Quinn's diagnosis is a cloacal anomaly. Cloacal anomaly is when your GI tract and your urinary tract and your reproductive tract are actually all entangled and they're not draining appropriately. And it can actually be a medical emergency because you need your urinary tract and GI tract to be able to drain. From the moment I met Quinn, we sort of just wanted to figure out what was going on and unlock the mystery of her anatomy. Dr. Seidman said, so I think I know. I think I know what's going on. Let me draw you a picture. And she sat down with us and she sketched it out. And she said, I think this is what's going on with Gwen. And I can fix it. So in order to make her bladder functional, what we did was we took a portion of her small intestines and we actually disconnected her small intestine and then reconnected it to her bladder in a way to make her bladder larger and to hold urine on its own. At the same time, we also needed to create a way for her to be able to empty her bladder, so we created a catheterizable channel for her that we hid inside of her belly button. We laugh and say, Dr. Seidemann created a bladder out of nothing, yeah. out of thin air. This is a little inconvenience, but overall so much better than it was. So this surgery has unlocked so many things for her. She now gets to run and play and be in swim class and dance class and she just took tennis lessons. Do rock climbing. I think that is such a powerful gift that Dr. Seidman gave her. She's just unlocked her future. Dr. Seidman is like the unicorn fairy of doctors. I think Quinn's strength comes from just what she's had to endure since, really since birth. Fast forward to today, she's, she's here with us, just loving life, full of energy. She's brought a lot of fun to our house, um, silliness. We were matched with this incredibly special human and our family would not be complete without her.